Hello and welcome to Linux and Code. Today's topic is going to be Node.js and getting it installed with something called NVM. Now, in normal Linux distributions, you actually can install Node.js with just apt or apt-get. You know, you could come in here and do an apt cache search Node.js, and it definitely exists. It's there. But the reason I'm not going to do it that way is because that makes you dependent on the version that is installed with your operating system repositories or whatever distribution you're using. So whether that's Ubuntu or Elementary or you know Fedora, there is going to be a specific version of Node that is available through those repositories. And it may not always be the one that you want or what your project needs. Now, if you don't know what Node.js is, I'm going to have a different explainer video on that coming later. But this video is going to be just focused on getting it installed and downloaded. Now, if we just Googled for Node.js and went to their downloads page, we have a few different options here as well. Uh, for one thing, we see there is an LTS version or a current version. And it can be kind of confusing to pick which one you want, especially if you're just getting started. And we also have an option down here that says installed Node.js by a package manager. And you can see that this has a ton of different options. And this may look a little bit more like what we want because it's giving us options to install what looks like specific versions of Node through these different repositories. But I'm still not going to install it that way because you're still going to be locked in to whatever version is coming from this repository that you set up. What I'm actually going to be using today is something called NVM, and that is easily findable just by a normal Google search. And what we're after is this very first link to GitHub for the Node version manager. So once we open this up, we're going to want to scroll down to the installation portion of this readme. And they have a couple of options in here. And what we're gonna do is this wget portion. Now it's important, I've said this before, to never just blindly run code from an sh script or something that you've copy pasted on online and just letting it do whatever it wants to your machine. That can be really dangerous. In this case, we have a fair amount of confidence in it. We can come in here and look at the install script and if you don't want to use uh, the wget command that they list, that's fine. You can actually grab the raw version of this file. And if you just hit save page as, and then go to say your home directory, for example, you can save it as install.sh and just change this to all files and hit save. And now you've saved the version of this script, but you haven't had to just blindly execute it on your machine like they have you do from command line because as you can see this is coming from a little bit of a, a strange looking url even though in this case it's it's fine and trustworthy but just something to be aware of so we're going to open up terminal and we're going to do an ls and we should see our install.sh file right there so we're just going to do bash install.sh and we're going to run this and this is going to download the node version manager into a hidden directory in our home folder, that .nvm. And it's also going to add a couple of lines to our .bashrc file, which enables our command line to activate nvm. And it lists this stuff here, this export nvm directory. And you can do that if you don't want to restart your terminal. I'm fine with just closing my terminal and reopening it. And now I can check to see that I have n vm as i would expect by doing nvm dash dash version and there we go that's this point thirty three point eleven, and that's exactly what we see up here that we would expect to have gotten from doing the wget so now that we know that we have nvm we can do nvm ls remote and what this will do is list all of the versions of node.js that are available through the node version manager and there's a lot. Now, you may have seen a couple of green bars fly by. And if we scroll up here, you see the latest release for LTS is 8.12. And there's actually 
an even higher version that's 11. And what that means is that there's a version of Node.js that's getting long-term support, and that's currently at version 8, and there's a version that has more advanced features, and that's currently a version 11. So whichever one of those is appropriate for your project is what you can install. And the nice thing about the way that we've installed NVM is we can install whatever Node version we want. And the other great part is that since we've installed it just as our user, not as root, all of these configurations are local to our user. So if somebody else installs NVM and their own versions of Node, they won't conflict with ours. So I want Node 8 because LTS is appropriate for the projects that I do. So I'm going to do NVM install 8. And what this will say is go get the major version 8 and the latest revision of that because I'm not specifying like a point 11 after that. I'm just saying 8. And we hit enter. And that's going to go off and download the Node.js version for us. It'll check to make sure it has the correct file signature and it's installed. And it creates a default alias for us for Node.js. So you can see if we type in node-v, we now get 8.12. Now, if we wanted something else and we aren't quite sure how to get a different version installed or set as a default, we can do nvm dash dash help. And this will output all of the commands that you can run for nvm. And it's really extensive. There's a ton of different things you can do. So you can also use nvm to see what your current version is. So if we do nvm current, it'll say we're currently using 8.12. Okay, but I need, for a really experimental project, I need the newest features of 11. So I can do nvm install 11. And this will go out and get node version 11. The problem is, if we say nvm current, it says 11, node-v11. Okay, great, we're set to 11, but I still have another project that I need to use Eight for it's a more production ready version and 11 isn't quite there yet so how do I get back to that all we have to do is say nvm alias default 8 and it'll go and correct the mapping for us and now if we run node-v we should be seeing 11 or I'm sorry we should be seeing 8 there and instead we're still seeing 11 so that means I've done something incorrectly. And we have one more command we should have run, and that's this nvm use. So if we do nvm use 8, and we run nvm current, see 8.12, and we can verify it again with node-v, and we see 8.12. Now we are set back to node 8.12, for our default environment, we can close our terminal, open it up again and run node-v, we still get 8.12, and we're all set to start using node and all of the things that comes with it, including npm, which for node 8 comes with 6.4 by default. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment for any other kinds of videos you would like to see or suggestions. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.